it's me was hoping you'd be home. Hey everybody, look what we got. A five pressure cooker meal. One, two, three, four, five pressure cookers today. We're gonna make something something All good. Right, come here, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna make. I need help for this one. So Kathy's here. Let me get some food. It's gonna be good, I'm starving. Okay, we got all our food out here. I should have widescreen today, huh? All right, in the, uh, oh, this Kathy, you know Kathy, Kathy's channel. Kathy's cooking. In the Elite 10 quart, we're gonna make sauerkraut and pork. Got a five pound uh, pork roast there and a couple pound can of sauerkraut. We're gonna make mashed potatoes, loaded mashed potatoes. Which one is this? This is the Instant Pot. <laughs> this is the eight quart Instant Pot. This is the Icock. We're, what are we gonna make in there? Corn on the cob. Corn on the cob. And the Cuisinart. We're gonna make some cornbread with jalapeno cheddar cheese. And then the Cook's Essentials, the four quart. We're gonna make dessert with peaches and cookie crumbs. It's gonna be called Stuffed Peaches. Sounds good, I'm starving. This is the six quart, I don't know if I mentioned that. So we got four quart, six quart, 6.6 .6 or six liter. Eight quart and a 10 quart. Let's get cooking. First I'm gonna brown this. Give me that olive oil back there. I'm gonna put this on browning mode. We're gonna hope we don't blow a fuse today like, like I did in the past. Does this have a browning mode? All right, we're gonna push fish and vegetables for browning on this guy. Are you in there? We're in there. All right, let's put some olive oil in here. I'm just gonna cut this in half and sear it on all sides to keep the juices in. This is gonna take the longest. This is gonna take 99 minutes. And then as the time goes down, we'll go accordingly with the times. What you gotta say? You gonna say something? Huh? <laughs> you can talk, you're on the show. All right, let's, let's get this warmed up and I'll start heating this, browning this. Okay, let's cut that in half. Nice sharp knife, huh? How about more? Can I get more? There you go. Doesn't matter. Ooh, sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Brown them up. Just brown them up a little bit on the outside. Okay. A couple minutes of that. Brown it up. Brown it up. We're hungry. Roxy's hungry too. We're gonna have to feed her before this. This is going for 99 minutes. Potatoes are gonna go for 20 minutes. Corn is gonna go for about eight. Am I right on that? Yep. Okay, this is almost ready. You like sauerkraut and pork? Remember that? like a New Year's good luck tradition, but it ain't New Year's. It's hot outside, that's why it's about 100 degrees outside. In here, we're gonna make all this food. It's not gonna be hot at all. Imagine heating up your oven on a day like this. Oh, hey, Roxy. Look at your lips. Mmm, there's your Mickey little piece, huh? Yeah. All right, burned up pretty good. And look at them. Can you see? Okay. I shouldn't show you things like that. I turned the camera up here. Anyway, I'm in a hurry. Got two pounds, 32 ounces of sauerkraut in a jar with some sauerkraut juice. Let's still get quiet. Go oh, in. You like sauerkraut? You don't have to put sauerkraut in here. You can make this like a pulled pork. You can put some barbecue sauce in here. How's that sound? Ooh, I used to hate sauerkraut when I was a little kid. I remember I got punished one time because I refused to eat it. But now I like it. Isn't that funny? I hate getting punished. I'm gonna fill half of a jar of this with water. Get the good stuff from the edges. So that's 16 ounces of water. Yeah, that's it. Okay, look at Tom. See it? Okay, let's put the lid on and lock it. 
cancel that mode. That was fish and vegetables I used for browning here. And I'm going to press pork. And I'm going to go 90 minutes. Look, it says 15, but that's if you just making a little pork, I guess. I don't know. I know 99 because I have experience here. Turn it on. So this goes up to 70 maximum. So after 70, I'll stop and I'll reset it for another uh, 29 minutes. <laughs> okay. One of these goes up to 99. I forget which one, which one it was. Uh, probably the Cuisinart. That's why I had that in my mind. But I know 99 minutes is good. Or 90. Okay, back in a little bit when we start preparing our other things that might take a half an hour or so. What did I say? 20 minutes on the potatoes. Okay, we'll be back. Smells good already. I'm hungry. We're going to feed Roxy something right now. While we're waiting for the pork to get done, I'm going to mix up the cornbread. So we'll start with an egg. I'm going to use this Jiffy cornbread mix. It's nothing fancy, but we're going to flavor it up a little bit. And a third of a cup of milk. Let's mix that. You want to mix this just like a muffin uh, recipe where you don't necessarily want to get all the lumps out. Just uh, It's actually better if it has a few lumps in it. Now this is uh, pepper jack cheese which is made with jalapeno peppers. If you like a little spiciness, use something like that. I'm going to use about a good cup of that. And when you can fold this in, then we're going to put it in a glass dish to bake it in, in the inside the pressure cooker. Just like that. I'm going to take a glass Pyrex dish that fits inside the Cuisinart pressure cooker and I'm just going to spray it lightly with some cooking spray and turn in the cornbread mix. It's going to be a cheesy one. Okay, this is ready. We're going to uh, put this in for 30 minutes. I'm going to cover this with a piece of foil just to keep the steam out of there. It doesn't have to be um, airtight. It's just going to um, keep water from dripping into the cornbread. Now I'm going to take a uh, rack to lower it into the pressure cooker so it's easy to get out like this. If you don't have a rack, you can always make a sling out of aluminum foil to lift it out. Now I'm going to put a cup of water. I like to make it hot water so it heats up faster, but we're going to uh, put that in the pressure cooker, lower the cornbread mixture in there. <laughs> okay, I found out that since this uh, rack doesn't go with this pressure cooker, <laughs> that it doesn't quite fit. So I'm going to make a sling and I can show you, show you how to do that. Anyway, let's take a a large piece of aluminum foil and fold it into thirds. And this way it gives you some strength with the foil to lift it right out. One that's nice and hot. So we just want to position it about in the middle, hold your sling on the edges and lower it into, we are going to, we are going to use a small rack in the bottom to keep it from burning against the bottom. Just like that. Now we're not going to start this yet. We're going to wait to coordinate it with the cooking times of the other pressure cookers, but that one's all ready to go. Now I'm going to get the potatoes ready. I have nine potatoes here. I don't know how many pounds it is, maybe two pounds. I'm going to cut them a little bit. I should get a bigger knife, shouldn't I? Should I cut them in fours? Yes. That's a knife. Now I'm going to cut myself, ain't I? That's a knife. Okay, I'm just going to throw these in the Instant Pot. No rack needed. As I cut them, I'm going to throw them in there. Okay. These are going to be loaded mashed potatoes. Don't cut myself. Alright. 
you think it looked like enough? Depends how many taters you want. Let's see. Yeah, it's gonna be mashed potatoes. Gonna have a cup of milk this time. Mmm. Cow's milk. Some butter. Half a stick of butter. Better the butter, better taters. Half a stick. We can melt more on on at the end. We're sure gonna do that. Put the lid on, and this was gonna take 30 minutes as well as what was that? I forget Corn what bread. that was. Cornbread. <laughs> Cornbread. Mm -hmm. That's why I should make notes here. They're in pressure mode. Lids are on. This has a little while to go yet till we start coordinating these. We're going to start these at the same time. Corn on the cob is going to take. Oh, earlier I said 20 minutes on this, but we're going 30. Sorry, I made a mistake. Corn on the cob, eight minutes. And the peach dessert is going to be eight minutes as well. Ooh. I'm gonna smell good up in here. Just five pressure cooker meal. Be back. Now we're gonna prepare the stuffed peaches. We're gonna start by taking some dessert cups uh, because they're convenient, but if you have angel food cake or something like that that you'd like to use instead, you can use them. I'm gonna take about three of these out of the package and I'm just gonna break them up into the bottom of the bowl. This is the bowl that we're going to cook in. Okay, this gives it a nice little nest for the peaches to sit in and all the juices that cook out can run into the, the nice little cake and gather all the flavors. Okay, next I'm going to take th some nice ripe peaches and cut them in half. Get the pit out. And let's push these around. I think I can make three at a time here. If you used a bigger pressure cooker, you could do more, huh? That's right. We could make a whole big pan of them. But our other pressure cookers are kind of committed right now. All right, there's three. Small dessert. Yep. And this one's a snack for Rick. Next, I'm going to take some cream cheese. I'm just going to take a spoonful of that and put it in the center. All right. On top of that, I'm going to take some Lorna Dune shortbread cookies. Another, um, another good flavor for this would be ginger snaps. We're just going to take a couple of these cookies and smash them up a little bit. I'm going to smash them all over the top. Nice cookie crumbles. You can also use little crunchy chocolate chip cookies or whatever your favorite kind of cookie is. Make all the crumbs go on top of the cream cheese and on top of the peach. I think I'm going to add another pack of those. As, as the juices start to come out of the peach, it'll get absorbed into the cookie crumbs and the, the cake. It's going to be so good. I'm just going to sprinkle a little brown sugar on top of this too. Crumble it up. Make sure there's no big lumps. This will give it a nice sweet, sweet flavor. I'm then I'm going to take a stick of butter and just put a couple little chunks of butter on here to get the melting started. Remember, there's peaches under there that are stuffed. What a great dessert this is going to be. All right, I'm going to cover this up with a little foil. 
Um, again, it doesn't need to be airtight. Just cover it good and it'll cook down. Oh my gosh, take a peek, it looks good. And uh, again, I made myself a little sling to lower this into the pressure cooker. And this is going into the small okay, one. We're gonna use the four quart Cooks Essentials pressure cooker here. This is a little, little guy. I'm gonna put a cup of water in the bottom. And I have a small rack in here to keep it off of the water in the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna use my sling to lower the dessert dish into the pressure cooker. And this is gonna cook for eight minutes, but we're also gonna wait to uh, turn this on until we turn on the corn. All right, I'm gonna put the corn in the cob in now. I got a half a, one and a half cups of water. In the Icock pressure cooker, I have five ears of corn. I'm using the rack. I'm gonna lay these on the rack. This is gonna go for eight minutes. And I'm gonna put a half a stick of butter right on top. That's gonna drizzle down. Mm. Uh, can you see what it looks like? See how I arranged them in there? If you had 20 of them, you could stand them on end, you know? Like that, if they will fit in your pressure cooker. Okay, let's put this fancy lid on. And that's going for eight minutes. That's gonna go the same amount as the peaches. Okay. How many minutes we got on the pork here? Let's see. Remember, I have to add 29 minutes, don't I? So what is it now? 41. So if I add 29, it's, oh, 40. So I could put it up to 69, it'll be all good, right? That'd be mm -hmm. 99 minutes? Yep. Let me do that now. Okay. Cancel. Pork. Ouch! <laughs> Freaking, I can't see. No, that'll be good. 69. What's that, 50? I can't see, what does it say, 57? There we go, okay. Stop. 68. There, <laughs> there we're all ready. It's still in pressure mode. I just interrupted it. Now remember, my other one goes up to 99. They don't all do that. But that's where I got that time from, because I know it's just gonna melt apart at the end. You wait and see. If you don't like sauerkraut, you're gonna like it today. Oh yeah, you can come and eat with us too, if you get here before it's done. Okay? All right, be back in a little bit. Got about an hour to go. Soon we're gonna start pushing these buttons. I hope it don't blow out a circuit breaker again. <laughs> All right. Big blue here is down to about 40 minutes. 41, 40. Okay, so now it might take this 10 minutes to get up to pressure, so I'm gonna go manual for 30 minutes here. That's the corn on the cob. Potatoes. That's the potatoes. And then the uh, cornbread, right? Let me come around the front here. Yeah, and the Cuisinart. The Cuisinart. We want to go high pressure for 30 minutes. And we're going to see if we're going to start blowing fuses out here now. Hmm. Hope not. Okay. So, pressure mode, pressure mode. 40 minutes left here. 10 minutes to build up pressure, 30 minutes to count down. And then when these are on about 15 minutes, we're gonna set these to their eight minutes. So they have time for the pressure to build up. We're getting hungry. Are you getting hungry? <laughs> for five pressure cooker meals. You ever see this before? No, I don't think so. We should open a restaurant, all pressure cook, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna come and eat there? Hmm? We'll get a pressure cooker truck. <laughs> All right, back. Our times are counting down. Now we're gonna go here. We're gonna press on demand pressure on the iCock for eight minutes. Corn on the cob in there. Something I just noticed about this iCock. It's 6.6 .6 quarts, and the Cuisinart is six quarts, and this is smaller than that. Isn't that good? That's a good thing, right? more footprint six liter plus 6.6 .6 quarts okay now to the dessert on the end and the first manual pressure cook time here 
eight minutes. Okay, that's all we gotta do there. We didn't blow no fuses out yet. I have them all plugged in at different, their own separate outlets. Mmm. Mm. Nice. I'm hungry. Now, if this gets done before these, we're gonna leave the pressure in there and let it release a little naturally, which we really don't have to because it was in there 99 minutes. But we wanna get everything synchronized so we can eat it all at the same time. They should all be within minutes, it looks like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why we, we know this is only eight minutes, but it's gonna take maybe 10 or 12 minutes to build up pressure. So it's gonna equalize. Right? Right. Oh, our times are coming down. Three minutes, 12 minutes, four minutes, 10 minutes, and eight minutes. See, not bad, huh? They're all within 10 minutes of each other. Smells good in here. Ready? I'm ready. A lot of clicking. No fuses blowing, no circuit breakers turning off. Doing good. All right, that's the last one. What are you doing over there? Oh, I was just browning some pieces of bacon with some minced garlic to add to the loaded baked potatoes and we're gonna mm. throw in some nice sour cream as well. Hungry. All right, let's see. Can we get a wide angle shot here? Right. You wanna let them all out or me? All the pressure. <laughs> you like doing it so much. Yeah, but we can't get it all on the camera. Okay, let me start. One. First we'll let out. We'll do it in order. Okay, first we'll let out the pork and sauerkraut. Just, just let them out and go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well. Two. Eat it. Go ahead. Go. Oh, it smells good. Wow. Woo! Go ahead, go ahead. And here we have cornbread. Woo! <laughs> and stuffed pieces. Ah. Wow. <laughs> it's like a train. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> oh, it smells good. Yeah. I smell my whole meal. <laughs> it's hot. Mmm, I smell corn, I smell pork. I smell buttery potatoes. I smell cornbread. Oh. Alright, back in a half a minute when the steam is out. A lot of steamage here. Let's open it away from me. Ooh, it melted! Where is it? Where's my tool? Look. <laughs> Tender? Mmm. Oh, I think I'm going to need a spoon. Oh. Nice. That's the sauerkraut and pork, if you like it at all. And I can get a slotted spoon to get a lot of that sauerkraut out of there. Mm. I'm a slotted spoon. Then we can save the juice. You know, some people put that juice on their potatoes or wherever. Look at it. It's a neighbor out there. We like this. Okay. Now, next thing, I gotta smash up those potatoes. Those loaded mashed potatoes. So, as we finish these, we're going to move our pressure cookers out of the way. They did a good job today. So far. So far, we haven't opened. But four more I mean, years. the uh, <laughs> the uh, power stayed on, and that's good so far. Okay, you get back here. Let me unplug this guy. 
Thank you, Elite Big Blue. You take a rest over here. We're going to need a bigger kitchen. There we go with mashed potatoes. Turn the pressures out. Mm-hmm. Fancy schmancy. You know what I got lately? One of these squashers. Yeah. Look in there. Remember these old squashers? That's how we're going to do it. All right, we're going to add. Should I squash them first a little bit and then add some stuff? Add the stuff. Add the stuff. Right now? Yeah. I don't want to bust up the bacon, though. Mm. Oh, boy. Buttery. All right. Boss me around. We got bacon and garlic here. Load them up. And you want sour cream in there now? Mm-hmm. Right. A little more butter. Yeah, a lot more butter. I'm steaming up my screen. Mm -hmm. Sour cream. Mm -hmm. Another scoop. Told you not to boss me around. <laughs> You're gonna like it. <laughs> like the food, I don't like getting bossed around. More butter. Oh, yeah. Whip it good. All right, let me get the butter in the refrigerator. Another half a stick of butter. Scrumptious. Scrum diddly umptious. Mmm. This is a prize winner right here. Mm -hmm. I like this old squasher. Well, it's a new old squasher. Okay. I'm going to put these out into a clear bowl so I can look at them. Does that sound alright? So I can get this pressure cooker out of the way. Look at that. Perfect. Wow. I'm trying to go fast so everything's good. You know, everything stays warm. Boy, I just got a big chunk of butter out of there. Don't burn yourself on this. Woo! We could have put 20 potatoes in here. Had this like three quarters of the way full if you wanted to. Okay, that's that. Get this guy out of the way. Thanks for holding the lid for me. You go back here. Whoa. Next. My corn and cob. Mmm. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Where's my tongs? I have a pair of thongs. Here they are. Perfect. Sitting on that rack. Nice, right? Okay. Now you get out of the way. Thank you, Icock. You did a good job, too. But I do believe there's a coupon code in my description to get $10 off one of those. Now, um, you should open yours over here. Come here, because I, I made the good stuff. You made the, uh, the sissy food. Hey. <laughs> this is all I need to live on. I don't need peaches and pumpkins over there, whatever you got. Hey, you're gonna like this cornbread. Right. The sling, see how the sling works? There's the sling. A sling a ding ding. What are you looking for? Put it I'll down. Go huh? with it. What? It's too hot for the table. Why? Very hot. Table ain't gonna melt. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, nice cornbread. I'm right. gonna see if I can flip it out of there. That might be good. What I want to show you before I scour it up is a nice brown bread around the bottom. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. All right. I think it'll come right. I'm gonna give this a little shake. 
It's going to come out good? I hope so. I don't know if it's going to be completely free. I think free. it's going to stick somewhat. Can I just cut it in here? Well, let's see. <laughs> Turn it back if it don't. <laughs> Ain't bad, huh? Okay, we got the cornbread flipped out here. Give it a nice, pretty top. Look at that. He's going to like it. <laughs> He's hungry. Come on now. Open that other. Next. Oh, thank you. Cuisine art. Last but not least is dessert. Open the stuffed peaches. Wow. And again, we have a little sling here to get this one out. Look at that. Oh, brown sugar. Now we're going to put one of these in a serving bowl. Brown sugar, nice juices flowing out to those cakes on the bottom. Nice tender peach. I'm going to show you how nice and easy that cut. Look how tender and there's a nice cream That's cheese. That's dessert. Butter. We'll talk about that at the end. Yeah. And when it cools off, we're going to add some whipped cream. Let's set the table and eat, right? Okay. Here we go. You want some? Oh, yeah. You going to sit here? Sure. Is there room? <laughs> What's first? Ah, let me some, get some taters on my plate. <laughs> Melt some butter on it. You want some of these? Sure do. You don't make a hog out of yourself. <laughs> They're loaded. There's a piece of cornbread for you. <sighs> wow. It's hot. Corn on the cob. Cheesy cornbread. Mmm, little butter down there. Some of this full part pork. Look at this. Sauerkraut. Which I got punished for not eating. Back in the old days, you know. Mm. They had sauerkraut back then. What do you want? I want some of everything. Look. Five pressure cooker meal. Mmm. Mmm. That's some butter. Okay. Nice dinner. Good mm. job. <laughs> I cooked it all. Oh, yeah. Is <laughs> that cool off? What do you like the best? All I ate was the meat so far. Mm. <laughs> Taters are good. Mm. It's hot in here now. Why did it get hot in here? I'm well, after I left the steam out of yeah, five pressure huh? cookers. <laughs> There's like a sound in here. <laughs> Thanks for watching our videos. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun to do it. <laughs> Challenging, too. Fair enough, slow down. <laughs> Did you taste this? Yes, I did. It's a little spicy with the pepper jack cheese in there. Mm -hmm. It tastes like cornbread. Mm. It's all good. All right, before I go, I'll taste this. Here, wait, whipped cream. <laughs> that was gone. It's in there. It's nice to make dessert in a pressure cooker. A lot of people don't think of it, right? Mmm. Some people do. The peaches. Some people don't. The peach is good. Mm hmm Very nice. All right. I'm going to concentrate on the meat and potatoes. <laughs> That's what kind of guy I am.
All right, thanks for stopping by for our five pressure cooker meal. Visit Kathy's channel. I'll put a link up there. I mean there. Mm -hmm. Subscribe if you like to both of our channels. All right? Yep. Thanks for helping. Oh, anytime. Talk to you later. See ya! Whee! <laughs> yum, yum, eat them up. <laughs>